Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today I'm going to show you how to uh, actually add a proxy setting to Windows 8. Um, maybe some of you out there are working at home and sometimes work at home at night or at different periods of the, uh, the week of the day. You might need to uh, have a connection for with your workplace for example. Um, a lot of big companies use what we call a proxy. A proxy is basically a way of connecting your computer to a um, workplace computer for example or another computer but it's kind of a uh, diverted way. It means that your computer is connecting to another computer that is kind of making the link with the rest of the other computers in a company for example. And uh, the reason why companies use proxies, um, well, two reasons, two main reasons. One is to prevent any viruses from your computer from getting to the, comp the company's uh, computers. So by having that little computer in the middle that talks to your computer, it uh, actually blocks anything that might be unusual. Another reason why proxies are used is to let the IT department, for example, um, monitor what's happening on the different connections. Uh, companies tend to have very secure networks and are very, very scared of being hijacked in a way or uh, losing data or having someone hack into their own networks. So by using proxies, they can see what people are actually doing, monitor what is happening. Even if you didn't have a proxy, they could still see, but proxies help uh, make that even more secure. So how do you add a proxy setting to Windows 8? All you have to do is go into your charms bar on the right side of the screen by swiping or going into the corners. Click the search. Um, instead of everywhere, click settings and there you will type proxy and you'll see network proxy settings you just click there and you'll go into the automatic proxy setup by default there's automatic detection of proxies but you will sometimes need to add a special address for a workplace for example so you have two ways of doing it you can either go into the auto config that is already there or you can use an automatic configuration script a lot of companies use that so you'll have to basically turn this slider to on and in the script address you will type the address that the company gave you to access uh, their settings and you'll then click save you can also have a different types of proxy which is a manual proxy so you might also need to use a proxy server so you'll have to turn that on give out the address of the proxy server the port that is going to be used for the proxy server and all sorts of little data that might be necessary depending on the type of connection that you need to establish with your workplace or uh, the distant uh, computer and so um, you um, have different settings you can also um, put that little check mark don't use the proxy server for local internet addresses so um, if you if you're at your workplace directly for example you don't need that proxy and so you just click the save settings once that is done um, I'm not giving you any details on what to write there because that is up to you the company where you uh, work for example will have given you all the details of what the script address is or what is the proxy server address and port to use all I'm showing you here is where to put that information when you need to use a proxy setup hope it helped you learn where to put it uh, maybe you have a new Windows 8 computer, the IT department isn't really, really still in Windows 8. You're kind of lost and you're thinking, wow, I need to enter a proxy somewhere, but nobody can help you. Another place where you can probably put it is in the Internet Explorer uh, desktop. There is still that little proxy box where you can put it, 
but um, by putting it here in the automatic proxy setup it will uh, establish that proxy to all programs that need to access your computer's um, your workplace network for example if you enjoy our videos please subscribe you'll be informed when new ones are online and give us thumbs up if we help you in using your Windows 8 computer maybe you have a feature an app something about Windows 8 you'd like us to talk about let us know we'll try to make that video and um, of course if uh, you have that new Windows 8 machine, if you are a little lost, you might need some help. So uh, keep track of our channel, the official Windows 8. It's um, one of the great channels to learn how to use Windows 8 and how to do just about anything. We also have Microsoft Store app reviews. So uh, keep in touch. Hope you enjoy our channel. Thanks for watching and uh, hope you come back. Bye-bye.